guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining in so today i'm going to share with you guys how i created this braided half top knot hairstyle it's a hairstyle that has been on trend for a while i mean i've seen it all over instagram and some on youtube and i just wanted to try it out for myself so basically i've been wearing this hairstyle on my days where i just don't really want to do so much to my hair like so if my date my hair is like a date or too old without being washed this is the way I like to style my hair just to give it a little bit of a style when there is not much to do with it so this is what I did it was just a braid so I did kind of like a V shaped braid at the top it's hard to see because my hair is dark on top here but if you come a little closer it's just a little bit of a messy braid I mean there's different ways to do the style you can do different braids like if you want to do like a double braid or if you want to have it look tighter so you can actually see the braid there's just different ways to do it but the way that I did it was the way I like it because I like the whole messy effortless look I just like that effortless look kind of style so that is what I did with my hair today and if you guys want to see how I did this look then just keep on watching so I went ahead and I've curled my hair it's just kind of like a messy effortless kind of curl and that's just the way I like it you guys can curl it any way you want or you can leave it straight but for me I kind of like to have that effortless kind of waves to it so after that I'm just gonna go ahead and part my hair down the middle so I'm gonna let it fall to my natural part just like that and when I create this look, I want to have the braid going into like a V shape. So I'm just going to start off by taking that center part and I'm just going to create the first half of the V. So I'm just going to take the tip of my comb and I'm just going to bring it out to the side. Just like that. And I'm just going to twist that back and I'm gonna create the other side and, then, and I'm gonna try to make it as even as possible like the V to be as even as possible so I'm gonna go ahead and start from the middle and create that outer V And then now you just want to hold it together, bring the two sections of hair together, pull it back just to see if the part is wide enough on each side. I think this side is a little off, so what I'm going to do is just put that back and just try to create that even part. So that's just going to have to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to section off the top part of my hair so I don't want too much hair to the back. So I'm just going to take a little bit from the back here and create my little top knot section. And first I'm just going to go ahead and clip this off. And with the rest of my hair I'm just going to pull it back because I don't want it to get mixed up with the braids. Gonna tie that back now this part you want to go ahead and just take the hair down so I'm basically gonna do a double not double Dutch I'm gonna do a Dutch braid because I find that this kind of braid is easier for me to do on my own hair it's harder for me to do a regular French braid so I'm just gonna do the Dutch braid so to start off with the Dutch braid I'm just gonna take a small section at the front here and I'm gonna grab three strands like so to do the Dutch braid you're gonna take the outside part so I'm gonna start off with my left strand I'm gonna bring it under the middle and cross and then the right strand is gonna go under the middle again as well and it's just gonna be both on opposite sides and to create the Dutch braid, I'm going to do the same thing by bringing the left strand into the middle. But at the same time, I'm going to bring some hair and add that to the middle. I just find that explaining how to do braids it just sounds so complicated. So if you guys know how to do a braid, just go ahead and go for it. 
but again if you're first time trying out braids you're basically just going to be bringing your hair to the middle or I'm sorry you're just gonna be grabbing your outside strand when you bring it to the middle you're just gonna keep adding hair until you have no more hair to add So once you have completed braiding the top part of your hair, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab a rubber band. I'm just going to tie that section off. Just like so. And now you can go ahead and bring the rest of your hair down. All right, so since my hair over here, this ponytail is very thin, as you can see right here, there's not a lot of hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my texture tease spray, which is perfect to add a lot more texture to very thin hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that on the ponytail portion. And then with my comb, I'm gonna go ahead and tease the hair down. So now that my ponytail looks like this, very messy, I'm just going to go ahead and start wrapping that around to create that bun, like so. And then to secure it, I'm just going to use a few bobby pins. And then if you want, you can just play around with it. So if it's too much of a knot, you can just play it play around with it to bring it down a little bit and then I'm just going to go ahead with my short scalp hairspray to spray that down and I'm just going to add a few more bobby pins to the knot. There you have the knot and you can kind of see the braid over here. I mean it's not the best work but you know I, I still like to do the whole messy style so it's perfect enough for me. If you're very more into having a very fine braid you can just go ahead and pull the braids a little bit tighter but I didn't pull it as tight because I like the loose little messy kind of look so I, I'm just leaving it the way it is and it's just how I like it. So now with the hair. I want to add more volume to the sides of my hair because it just kind of lays a little bit flat here while the bun is all the way up top. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to take the texture tease spray and spray that all over my hair. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tease my hair a little bit more just to give it more volume. So I'm just going to take some, hair, some pieces of hair from the top and I'm just going to back home it like that because I have a lot of flatness at the top of my head so I like to add more volume right at the top so I'm going to go ahead and back keep back combing that so after teasing it I'm just going to go lightly with the comb and just brush it down and if your curl if your curls are still a little bit tight you just want to pull on it just to kind of loosen it up a little bit to give it more of that beachier look and just go in with your hairspray to finish it off so I'm just playing around with my bun a little bit because I just find that it was a little bit too high so I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff that out and kind of bring the bun a little bit down like that and then just pin that away and there you have it this is my braided half top knot hairstyle hope you guys like it it's very easy to do if you guys know how to braid but if you just like the regular top knot look without the braid you just do the same thing except no braid at all just pull it all back and then just do your messy bun on the top for this hairstyle i find that it's much better to work with your hair when it's um like a day or two old because you got a little bit more texture to work with 
and it just looks much better and it's much easier to put up when you have that gritty feel to your hair as opposed to freshly washed hair so I don't know it's just my personal opinion I just find that it works better for me to do this hairstyle so if my hair is like a day or two old this is the hairstyle I like to do just put it up because it's just a better way to kind of disguise your hair if it wasn't washed for one day so this is like a perfect hairstyle to do if you're on the go um, other than that that's that's pretty much it super easy if you guys like this hairstyle please give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video all right bye